Seems like there is always news of another data breach that potentially affects millions of us. Mm -hmm. Whether you've been a victim or want to protect your personal information, digital journalist Ivan Herrera shares what you can do now before the hackers strike. Like many of us, Consumer Reports tech editor Nicholas De Leon knows how it feels to be a victim of a data breach. His advice? Don't panic. My social security number was stolen in that big Equifax hack, and I was eventually able to sort everything out. One important step Nicholas took was freezing his credit with the three big credit agencies, a move CR generally recommends since it can prevent criminals from opening new accounts in your name. The thing is, anytime you need credit, say you're gonna rent an apartment or you're gonna buy a new phone, you'll need to unfreeze your credit to do so. You can do all of this by simply calling the credit agency and asking them to freeze and unfreeze your credit as needed. A less restrictive option is contacting the credit agencies to put a fraud alert on your credit. This alerts lenders to take extra steps to verify someone's identity because their personal information may have been compromised. It's also a good idea to keep an eye on your free weekly credit reports, credit score, and credit card statements. And if you ever notice any weird or unauthorized charges on your credit card statement, you should immediately contact the issuer. Finally, if you're a victim of a data breach, be sure to change your password, not only on the hacked account, but also everywhere else you've used it. And a pro tip, instead of reusing passwords in the future, consider using a password manager. They generate and store unique, complex passwords for each of your accounts. Many will alert users if the password has been leaked in a data breach, including CR recommended password managers from 1Password, Dashlane, and Keeper. Ivan Herrera, KSAT 12 News.